And now a final word about what you can do to get your spectra up there with all the others in this wonderful worldwide cloud and make your best spectra available to other workers in the field in the manner in which they can use and indeed a way in which you can bring them down whenever you want. So the thing to remember is very simple. It's publish in sss.com and that brings you to the screen for Surface Science Spectra. You'll get a login. If you haven't registered already, you need to be guided to the registration page. If you have a login, I'll, uh, I'll just use mine. And the password. And we'll log in. And from there on, which you just need to be guided. There's an opening screen which tells you uh, some of the things about how you would track your uh, material which you've put up and see when it's ready to uh, to access um, but what you need to do then is just go to uh, my submissions and a new submission and there you get everything you need uh, to put in the overview of your material the authors keywords elements you're dealing with references uh, you notice it is just an overview it's actually we want uh, two or three paragraphs that tells us the the reason why these spectra are important and then uh, so we'll do a, a title uh, test spectra and um, and we'll be ready to, to now to talk about our specimens and so now we can put in our specimen details and carry on from there. So it's very easy to use, very nice uh, and simple form. You'll notice it is actually for AES and XPS uh, data only at this stage. Um, a web-based contributors form for SIMS is under preparation and we hope to have that up and running in 2012. Uh, but until then you will find that a paper version is available and it can always be obtained uh, from Surface Science Spectra. Uh, so with that, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and we do hope that before long you'll be uploading Spectra to our wonderful journal.